Okay, so today I am doing another test. Surprise, surprise. Um, I actually tested the motor out and I found that it can spin 2.8 pounds of ceramic tumbling meteor. So, unfortunately, it spins it too fast and it just sticks to the side and goes around and around, which is neat and kind of a good sign because I know that my motor is powerful. Unfortunately, it also sort of sucks because, uh, well, I need it to not spin all the way around. I need it to tumble. But we're going to test out the unit with heat, motor, and everything going, uh, which I did have the heat and everything going when I was tumbling the media as well. And so nothing got too hot or anything, so I'm going to consider it a good test. All right, and so... Uh, my solid state relays are run off of a power supply right now. Uh, it simulates the actual load by a little bit more. And it also, uh, well, lets me control it without having the controllers in place. So the first thing we're going to do is turn on our motor switch. around that so I won't have to deal with a lot of that noise and I will have welded these bolts to the side to help settle it. Actually let me turn the motor off and I'll let temperature get reached because as far as I've read that's what you're supposed to do when you let the temperature get up. And once the temperature is nice and hot in there, I'll start it turning and uh, that'll do away with some of the blowing effect of the uh, motor because there's veins in there so it's going to act a little bit like a fan. Alright, so let me check on my okay. controller here. So I just have a thermocouple run from my multimeter here, checking the temperature. And my little handheld infrared thermometer to check as well. Uh, so we've got 101 so far already. We've got a good fast rise in temperature happening. And uh, it doesn't seem to be making my motor area hot. It hasn't risen past the ambient temperature already yet. Yet there's plenty of heat, and the drum is getting nice and hot. So this is all good news, all good news. The front of the drum is getting hot too, actually. Which is not unexpected. Alright, so that's where that's supposed to be. There's actually supposed to be another bolt there I had not in. Installed yet, but we can install a placeholder. Well, I said we could. I guess not. Not for now, anyway. So we turn the motor on a little bit. See a temperature drop because, like I said, it's going to act like uh, veins. So it looks like it's doing pretty good.
lot of insulation before I get any real good temperature reading. But that's okay. So that's the unit so far. Running. Nice big fan. Heat sinks. The temperature will probably go up pretty quickly. I assume that if I let the temperature reach its optimal position before I start the motor up, that even though there will be some cooling down, because I'll have insulation in place, that most of that will be negated. So let me talk about some of the changes I've made here. Of course I made the box, I made it about two inches wider. Uh, so it's now, I think it's 14 inches now. Um, I liked the nice angles, angled uh, surface, work surface, because standing at the height that I am now, I can easily operate it while having the machine beside me. I think that I'll probably keep it separate from the machine and just have a large cable going to the machine itself. That way I can separate the unit if I need to travel or move or, or move it. Um, it's not very heavy, but it's also not very light either. The... Uh, Check some temperatures real quick. We got 89 on the front, so it's not getting too hot over here. We have about 470 degrees on the burner itself. About 102, 103 on the very top. There's a lot of heat going to get lost because, well, there's no insulation on the unit except for uh, around the elements themselves. And eventually I'll have rock wool two inches thick on the top portion of the machine and then one inch thick going down and then an air space inside and that'll help with a lot of the heat that I lose um, but I also still I still want some airflow inside of the bottom area here because I don't want my heating elements to get to a thousand degrees plus So we looks like we're doing really good. I'm really happy with how it's turning out so far. Uh, I'm going to cut you guys off. It's 250 degrees now. Um, but I'm going to cut you off so you don't have to listen to me for the next 15 minutes rambling on about how I'm going to, what I'm going to change to the machine. So I'm going to shoot a short video and post the short video and then I'll post this to Facebook.